Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to configure Active Directory to store BitLocker recovery keys on a Windows Server 2022 domain controller using group policy. BitLocker is a Windows security feature that encrypts entire volumes to protect against data theft or exposure from the lost, stolen or improperly decommissioned devices. As a system administrator, managing BitLocker recovery keys for a large number of computers on the company network can be challenging, particularly when there are over 100 machines. BitLocker provides a feature that enables administrators to store recovery keys in Active Directory ensuring secure management and easy access to these essential keys when required. We can set up group policies within our domain to ensure that when a drive is encrypted with BitLocker, the computer will automatically save the recovery key to its computer object account in Active Directory. It's similar to storing a local computer administrator password generated using LPS. First, Let's understand the test lab we will use in this video. We have single domain active directory forest named msftwebcast.com. This is our Windows Server 2022 domain controller srt22-dc01. We also have one Windows 10 client VM in this test lab which is also part of our active directory domain. On domain controller, open active directory users and computers. As we can see, I have created one OU named BDE Taste Computers to store the computer account of domain joined computers. I have stored the computer account of Windows 10 client under this OU. Let's right click on this computer account and select properties. Check the tabs. We have LPS, but we don't have BitLocker related tab on our computer account. Currently, we don't have the option to see the BitLocker recovery keys of this computer account. So we need to install two features in order to view BitLocker recovery keys of the computer account. Let me click OK and let's minimize Active Directory users and computers. Uh, click on Manage, select Add Rules and Features. Click Next, Next again, Next again, Next again. On Features page, find Remote Server Administration Tools. Expand Remote Server Administration Tools. Expand Feature Administration Tools. And expand BitLocker Drive Encryption Administration Utilities. Select BitLocker Drive Encryption Administration Utilities. And inside that, we need BitLocker Recovery Password Viewer. Let's select this checkbox and hit Next. Click on Install to begin the feature installation. The process has been started successfully. This will take few seconds to complete the installation. Ok, feature has been installed successfully. Click on Close. Let's again go back to Active Directory Users and Computers. Uh, refresh the console. Again select the computer account, right click on it and select Properties. This time we have one more tab named BitLocker Recovery. If we go to the BitLocker recovery key, we can see the message, no items in this view. Since this Windows 10 computer is not encrypted with BitLocker, we can't see the BitLocker recovery key password here. But once we complete the configuration, we will check the BitLocker recovery password key information on this tab. Let's click OK. Next step is to configure group policy settings to set up Active Directory to store BitLocker recovery keys on our domain controller. First, we will open the Group Policy Management console. On Server Manager, click on Tools and select Group Policy Management. Expand Group Policy Objects. Right click on Group Policy Objects and select New. Type a meaningful name for this GPO. I'm giving name BD Recovery Key GPO. Click OK to create a GPO. Now let's edit the group policy settings. Right click the newly created GPO and select Edit. Maximize the window. In the group policy management editor window, 
under computer configuration navigate to policies administrative templates windows components and find bitlocker drive encryption and click on it double click on store bitlocker recovery information in the active directory domain services set the policy to enabled and leave the default selection make sure require bitlocker backup to the adds checkbox is selected click okay This step enables backing up the BitLocker recovery key information in Active Directory. Expand BitLocker drive encryption. Next, expand OS, fixed or removable data drives depending on which drive types you want BitLocker recovery keys to become retrievable. In this example, I'll choose operating system drives. On devices that don't have a TPM BitLocker can still be used to encrypt the operating system drive. For example, if you are using virtual machines, this implementation requires the user to either use a startup key or use a password. To make this work, we need to configure a specific group policy setting. Open the require additional authentication as startup policy. Set the policy to enabled and leave the default selection. Click okay. This will allow us to use BitLocker drive encryption on our client computer without using TPM. Next, open the Enforce drive encryption type on operating system drives policy. This policy setting allows us to configure the encryption type used by BitLocker drive encryption. When we enable this policy setting, the encryption type option isn't offered on client computer in the BitLocker setup wizard. Set the policy to enabled. Now here we have two options. Choose full encryption to require that the entire drive be encrypted when BitLocker is turned on. Choose used space only encryption to require that only the portion of the drive used to store data is encrypted when BitLocker is turned on. In this example, I'll choose used space only encryption and click okay. Next, open the choose how BitLocker protected system drives can be recovered the policy. Select enabled. Keep the default selection selected under allow data recovery agent. Scroll down and tick the box do not enable BitLocker until recovery information is stored in Active Directory domain services for our operating system drives. If you check the option BitLocker will not start drive encryption until the computer saves a new recovery key in active directory. Now click on apply and okay. So we have configured total 3 policy settings on the operating system drives. If you want to save BitLocker recovery keys for external media devices or other drives, configure a similar policy in fixed data drives and removable data drives GPO section. Now I'm going to close the group policy editor window. The next step is to link the GPU to targeted OU. Right click on BDE test computers and select link an existing GPU. Select BitLocker GPU from the list and click on okay. We can confirm that the GPU is now linked to the targeted OU. To check the result, let's go to domain joint client computer. Open command prompt and then enter the gp updates less force command to ensure that the latest group policy settings are applied to the client computer on this computer the group policy settings were successfully applied type command shutdown hyphen r hyphen t 0 and hit enter key to restart the vm after restart again sign into this windows 10 client vm we are using the domain administrator's credentials to log into this windows 10 client computer now that the policy is deployed to backup bitlocker recovery keys in active directory let's test it by enabling bitlocker protection open file explorer navigate to this pc right click on the os drive and click on turn on bitlocker since we don't have tpm on our vm we have to select one of the option to unlock a system drive at startup I'll choose enter a password. Enter a password to be used every time you boot your machine to unlock the system drive. After entering a strong password, click next. 
Next, you will be asked about how do you want to back up your recovery key. You get three options here. Save to a USB flash drive, save to a file or print the recovery key. I am going to click next to continue without saving the recovery key. Select new encryption mode and click next. Make sure run BitLocker system check checkbox is selected. Click on continue. It will ask us to restart our computer. Click on restart now to reboot our virtual machine. On startup, we have to enter our BitLocker password we just set up. Enter password and press enter key. After successful verification of the password, our system will boot up. Encryption will proceed in the background. The process can take a long time depending on the size of the drive, but you can continue working on your computer while the operation completes. Let's go back to our domain controller VM. In the final step, let's look at the BitLocker recovery keys in Active Directory for the client computer. Open Active Directory Users and Computers. Click on our OU, choose the computer account, right click on it and select Properties. Click on BitLocker Recovery tab. Here we can see information about BitLocker Recovery Key. Whenever required, we can provide this password to the user so that they can unlock their BitLocker protected drive. This means we have successfully configured our Active Directory to store BitLocker recovery keys of client computer. Let's go back to our Windows 10 client computer. Let's open File Explorer again. Click on this PC and we can see the BitLocker is currently enabled on our system drive. Right click on C drive and select Manage BitLocker. On the operating system drive, we can see BitLocker drive encryption process is running. This will take some time to complete the encryption. That's all for this video on how to configure Active Directory to store BitLocker recovery keys on a Windows Server 2022 domain controller using group policy. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.